All right, we're gonna settle this right now. Do you want me to react to the English version or the Japanese version of this show? Because I saw a lot of comments in my last video, people saying the English version, the dubbed, is actually really good. But I feel like I'm not watching anime if it's not Japanese. I don't know why. So let me know down below, guys. We'll, we'll settle this right now. All right, yes, sexy motherfuckers. Let's get to the show. Oh, great. They're teaching me how to use the alchemy. I'm about to have a whole fucking summoning circle in the middle of my apartment. So it's like a pact. It reminds me of Jujutsu Kaisen, kind of. I'm not gonna spoil it, don't worry if you haven't watched it, but it's kind of like a pact. You're making a pact between you and the alchemy god, the alchemic. Wait, 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 wait. Is that Alfonsi? Oh, he's a little chubby cutie, okay. Look at, look at little Eddie. This show. What the fuck is that word? How am I supposed to sing along to this? I can't say that. Y'all already know Kashat shit. That looks like a painting, like you would see in a dentist office. It's this guy like speaking through a can in the studio when he's recording his lines. Bro, it's so menacing to see this and then the voice that comes out of it. But look at his little mouth. He's like a cat. This is cute. He's cute. Am I the only crazy one that, that thinks that's cute? It's like a tarantula when people say they're cute, but no, fuck that. Fuck tarantulas, man. I hate them. But, like, he's cute. I want, like, a little Alfonsi in my house. I'd actually read this book. This is interesting. And I don't read. I've never read a book in my life. <laughs> this show balances seriousness with comedy very well. Look at this house! Bro, it's like an oil painting. He's, he's drawing summoning circles at the age of two. <laughs> oh my god, he blew a bird! Chantaro, he makes you. Wait, could I, like, if I become an, alchem an alchemist, could I create Chantaro? <laughs> so cute. They look like little Polish boys. <sighs> Next time my mom says she's proud of me, that's what I'm gonna do. <sighs> Look at this! <laughs> Fucking COVID hit this world too. How'd she die? Why does every anime parent die? He's not coming home. He went to the store for milk and never came back. Oh shit. Yeah, fuck that dude. I'd bury myself next to my dead wife. Uh, oh no. Wait, is that what they do? Winry. Wait, what the fuck? So, those family members that have died in my life, they must never be sad because I've never shed a tear for them. Fuck them. Look at him taking that, that daddy role. Hell yeah. She was worried. Amate, <laughs> oh. Oh my god! <laughs> he must never drink milk again, bro. That dude stays short forever. I love it. Look at Winry's face! Oh, see, this is what I mean, bro. The face is in the show. It's a reason to watch. <laughs> Micro Pee Wee? Wait, whoa! Call him a little dick? What the fuck? Min in the bag? Oh shit, bro. That's enough to kill anyone's self esteem. We're trying to resurrect our dead mother. <laughs> oh shit, I'm coming over too. I love the art style of the show. Look at this man, this is beautiful. Look how smart they are. I didn't know what a transmutation was at that age. I don't even know what it means now. This music is incredible. It captures, no pun intended, the magic. Wow, so they waited a while to do this. That bitch is dead in bones right now. Wow, man. I feel like I'm gonna start shooting alchemy from my fingers. What the fuck? This is an evil night. It's all red? Oh, fuck. I gotta write this down. Bro, I'm better Instacart all of this. We'll do it on my channel. Oh, my God. That kid did that with a smile, man. Oh, shit. The night they fucked up. Oh, this show is trippy. Oh my god. Whoever made this, they had a crazy acid trip, I promise you that. 
a fucking eye open from the floor. Oh my god! Woohoo! Is this hell? Holy shit! This is awesome! I am what you call the world! Oh my god. I love this shit, man. Now he's in this place between, I guess, time and space and whatever, where he has to make a deal now since he committed that, that crime against the alchemy world. I am what you call the world. I'm gonna tell that to the next girl I talk to. Oh my god. What else are you? I'm the shit you took last night. That's what you get, bro. You know, I kind of want to perform a, a circle now after seeing this. I gotta see this place. Holy shit, this is awesome. Is this a consequence? I, I, I would love this. And he's just a kid. So how does he make it out of this? Bro, I feel like Jaws is coming. Listen to this. Oh, no. He's already come to reality and at peace with where he is right now. He's already talking about the truth. Oh, fuck. This show doesn't hold back. It's like he's not even crying in pain and complaining about it. He's complaining or crying about the fact that did it, it didn't work. That just shows you his strength and his his dedication to to making his mother come back like he's dealing with this pain a different way man this is a guy you do not fuck with oh oh no dude that's brutal holy shit alfonsi his body, his soul went into that suit that was in that room that we see him in now. Oh god, the voice actor, man. What a fucking scene. He's crawling with the blood on the floor and, and his brother, his, his mom is like a ghost in front of her. Take my leg, take my heart, take my heart, you can have it. Dude. Oh, oh. Dope, man. That was like the last, the last episode where he says, "You took your first step into hell." It's like I'll never forget these lines of dialogue. And now in this episode, take my heart, take my leg, my arm, just bring my brother back, bro. This is amazing dialogue. So far, I'm really loving the characters in this show. They have a lot of personality. I don't hate anyone yet. No one's pissing me off. Except for Alfonsi in the beginning. What the fuck does that say? Zingiz Alk? Imagine being a kid or in this shit. Your parents would think you they, they're raising like Einstein if they heard you saying that. They walk in, they see you reading Zingiz Alkistry. Yeah, man. Why are all the children in anime on the fucking god level? Huh? I want someone to wave by to you like that. All the people in fucking New York do is this. The fuck does that mean, man? Four years earlier. Yo! Oh my god, he found them? Oh shit. He cares. But he's gonna show he doesn't. Oh my god. I'm a cry, man! Holy shit! I, I, I'm on the episode 2 of this show and I'm already so attached to these characters, bro. It's just this, the, the dialogue mixed with the music of the show is just magical. It's like the secret formula in, in, a, in a Krabby Patty. So this kid is very special. Now who the fuck and where is his dad? Oh my god. Kid's like one and a half years old, bro. He just came out of the pussy. Man. 
Is that little Winry? That's like a teenager? What does she look like as an adult? Wow, that sounded so fucking wrong, bro. That sounded like some grooming shit right there, bro. I did not mean it like that. It just came out like that. Wow, that was bad. <laughs> I'm keeping that in the video. Y'all can cancel me. I don't give a fuck. Man, I did not mean it like that. Oh, shit. <laughs> it said like five years ago, I think. I don't even know. Oh, my God. I'm going to hell. Risa Hawkeye. My God, what's with these names? Her last name is Hawkeye. The other guy's name is Mustang. What's mine going to be? Tesla? <laughs> God, every parent dies in anime. I feel bad for anyone that's above the age of ten in anime, man. Y'all, y'all are dead. This kid, he's had a fucking day, man. Leave him alone. I mean, he's offering them the chance to get their bodies back, and he feels responsible for Alfonsi's soul being taken out of his body. So I understand why he's choosing this path. There's someone I have to protect. Who does she mean? Does she mean Mustang? Is that why he just entered the room? I, I see what they did with this shit. Aww. She was like, I hate soldiers, but she's so respectful. And she's like looking up to her. Oh, they'll definitely meet again, especially after that in anime, 100%. Ah! <laughs> Isn't that funny how Colonel Mustang says that? The, the guy with fire at his fucking fingertips. Dude, I love Ed's design, especially there. <laughs> oh my god, he's like, I don't care at this point, bro. I'll spit whatever comes out of my body. When is this guy gonna get his body back, if he will? Guarantee you it doesn't happen until like the last season. The last fucking episode, probably. I love how he covers. His ass, like, like he wears that thing, even though there's nothing there, it's just respectful. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm loving this. What is this music? Am I in anime church right now? Oh, shit, he didn't see any of that. You wait till now to talk about that? Look, yes, he's doing the face! Oh my god, this is what I mean, bro. Oh, shit. Look, they're still together. Oh, they're, they're getting married. Ah, I love when they do that shit, man. It's so exaggerated. Baka! Ah, that's awesome. He can just do it wherever he is. He doesn't need a fucking circle. He is the circle. Oh my god. This kid has bigger balls than me. He's like 40 years younger than me. I don't even know how this is possible. You do not know the birth of the world. How the fuck did that happen? <laughs> I want to live in this show. I hate the city, man. This is where I want to live. Damn, man. I want one of those. I'm gonna buy one off Amazon. I don't have to go through this fucking alchemist training. A dog in the military. Congratulations. You're on a leash now. Now he's the full metal alchemist. <laughs> Get it? The name of the show? <laughs> These names are so fucking cool. Colonel Mustang. The other girl is called, um, what's the other call girl? Jeep? What are these names, man? These names are so cool. And then you have Alfonsi. Oh yeah, you will! You're the main character in the anime, you better take it on! Oh my god, man, the art! Oh! The Philosopher's Stone! Oh my god! We're probably not gonna get one till the end of the show, like I said. You know, usually a show goes down a bit the second episode. Like, the first episode establishes everything. Then the second episode is like, okay, we're here. Now let's go there slow. And it's kind of like that, but they give us the backstory. They, they give us answers really fast. A lot of questions are still there. Like, why is this Philosopher's Stone so well believed in like why does he believe this is gonna fix everything and what's its importance who else is out there for it those two enemies at the end of the last episode the fat motherfucker looking like tommy pickles and the evil girl that <laughs> i've had dreams about like who are these people 
What, who's the enemy? Why is this guy the fuck, fuck Bradley? Why is he so sus? I don't, I don't trust him, man. He's the enemy. I'm telling you right now. So this show is done. So I could take my time and I'm gonna watch like one episode every few days. And I'm excited, man. We're gonna be reacting this for a while. It's very well loved in the anime community. I think it's like one of the most highest ranked animes in the world. I think it's like number two or one. I don't know. My friend told me. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Bye.